Welcome back, everyone, to another exciting episode of the Toro Cigar Lounge Podcast. I'm your host, Mike Glover, a.k.a. 757 Cigar Mike. Stay tuned today, ladies and gentlemen. You're not going to want to miss this episode. Today, we're talking about summertime and cigars. We'll be right back. In a world desperate to separate us by our differences, there's still a place where you can go where all are welcome. The Cigar Lounge. Welcome to the Toro Cigar Lounge Podcast. Welcome back, everybody, to the Toro Cigar Lounge Podcast. Again, I'm your host, Mike Glover, a.k.a. 757 Cigar Mike. Today, we're talking about summertime and cigars. Man, it's getting warmer and nicer outside. It's a perfect time to go outside and enjoy a cigar. But before we get into that, let's go around with quick introductions in case this is your first visit to our podcast. I'm Jake, a.k.a. Bearded Cigar Lover. Find you, me on Instagram. What are you smoking, Jake? I'm smoking... A NBK, Ooh. one of my favorite box press cigars. I'm Robin, a cigar guitar bird on Insta. Look me up. I've got like 20, I'm up to 25 followers now. Woo! Ooh, on <laughs> yeah, fire! Well, most of them are like pinup girls that, you know, you, yeah, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sure Beth is thrilled with uh, that. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, anyway. <laughs> Uh, I, I I always think Killer Clowns from Outer Space with this cigar because I, mean, I was I, I loved that movie when I was much younger. But anyway, yeah, um, I got the uh, Cigar Clowns, um, King of Clowns, King of Clowns, yeah, King of Clowns. their new release. And I, I am smoking the Dissident Rant. Love this cigar; it's a great cigar. You gonna make it through the whole podcast with that? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> All right, I got the Midnight Bender. I'm Ken. You can follow me at Ken Blue Smoke if you'd like. And this might be the last one on hand. Probably not the, the time that you're watching this, but... Uh, Probably not. It's a, it's a good one. Anyway. Do you want to talk about... Oh, yeah. Well, let's talk about our sponsor for this, um, for our podcast, is Family by Loyalty. You can see some of their offerings up front. They have some excellent cigars for you. They have some excellent swag also. The hat is awesome. The um, ashtrays are a work of art, but the best thing you can buy is their five pack and uh we got that for you absolutely and they may be like on like one of the uh on breakout of new cigars man they're they're taking off like crazy more and more people are hearing about them and yep. uh, loving what they do absolutely yep. absolutely so we're excited we got a couple of boxes of skulls coming back in the, right the last of the skulls so if you enjoy the skull from family by loyalty we will have some of the last available skulls on the planet. <laughs> then we got to change up the five pack after that. Then we're going to have to change up the five pack. I, th I think Alan will have another cigar for us to order after. By that time, we run out of skulls. I'm probably. sure he will. So summertime and cigars, man, it has been a long winter. That little fucking rodent in Puxatawney, <laughs> Pennsylvania, lied his ass off about an early spring. Yeah, somebody needs to give him a 22 at a fast rate of speed. I'm telling you, man. But finally, today it's going to be 80 degrees and sunny, a light breeze. Tomorrow is going to be almost 84 degrees. So it's going to be awesome. The weather is turning nice, and we're looking forward to getting outside and having some cigars. Absolutely. So, what's your favorite summertime activity for a cigar, guys? I got one to start us off. One of my favorite things to do is to turn a chore into something of a hobby. And that is to cut my lawn with three or four different cigars. <laughs> so, I get on my riding lawnmower and I pick out three or four cigars and I, I, I just have a blast. And the other day, yes, the first the first cut of the season, maybe the second, my cigar fell out of my pocket, and I saw it on the ground, and I said to myself, don't run over that cigar. <laughs> Five minutes later, I saw the corner of my eye, a little bit of packaging scattered all over the lawn. <laughs> I ran over one of my cigars with the uh, lawnmower. <laughs> oh, my God. So what he's saying is he's going to now fabricate a travel humidor on his riding lawnmower <laughs> for the safety of his cigars. That sounds like it. That sounds like it. I, I, I can, I can, I can bring you some JB Weld. We can just JB Weld one right on the top for you. Yeah. 
That that'd be a good idea. That that probably sounds like something that's needed. <laughs> that's a that's a show right there. Modifications to your rotting lawnmower so that you can smoke safely. <laughs> so one of the ways that I attach pedals onto my pedal board is with Velcro, and I've got sheets of Velcro, like big sheets, and I've got a lot of that stuff. So if you want to Velcro something down, I could actually Velcro you to, to your seat as well. Well, that sounds like a project. He might need that too, depending on how much port he has yeah. while he's driving that riding lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> he might need some Velcro on his ass. <laughs> Keep him in the chair. <laughs> so Mike, what's, what about you? Oh man, I, I love to uh, barbecue this time of year. I love to fire the grill up and cook some chicken or some steaks. And it's, it's the best time to go outside, fire up a cigar, while you're firing up the grill, let it warm up, have a bourbon, a uh, glass of whiskey, something to go with it, and then throw the meat on, let it cook, finish your cigar, and then go inside and have a great meal right after that. It's one of my favorite things to do. What about you, Jake? Man, mine's all about the pool. Mm. I love watching big wet titties come out of the water while I'm smoking a cigar. <laughs> Nothing beats it. <laughs> Are those your titties or is <laughs> Well, it could be my titties too. They're getting bigger as I get fatter. But <laughs> yeah, there's our first short for the day. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. But any guy that doesn't like watching titties come out of a pool, are you really a guy? I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I still think of that uh, at around Christmas time with Nicolette Scorsese coming out of uh, Clark Griswold's pool. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's an image I didn't need to get back in my head. Oh, Thanks, there, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's everybody's favorite Christmas movie. Yeah, <clears throat> probably, probably, but that's got nothing to do with uh, summer and <laughs> or, no, or cigars. No, <laughs> well, I mean, they're dreaming of summer. So yeah, dreaming, that's right. Dreaming yeah, of, summer, dreaming yeah. of summer, yeah. summer, right? Dreaming absolutely. Of summer. So that movie works year round, guys. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So, Robert, Christmas what's... Vacation's now a summer movie. All right, there you go. <laughs> Just like Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Yeah. <laughs> Deal with it. So, my favorite thing to do on a warm summer's eve is to go out on my front porch with my bride, and she'll sit there and have a cold beverage, and I have a cold beverage, and also a warmer beverage uh, along with that, and a, a good cigar, and we just sit there on the front porch. Nice. That's a great way to spend a summer evening. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about uh, picnics? Other, you know, uh, larger family gatherings. The only, the only one of those that, I mean, you kind of have to get sort of like a, an ahead of time permission, or just sort of scout out who's going to be there. Like, like you know, you got the birthday parties for the children and whatnot. If you got a bunch of dads who all smoke together, then you can kind of go off by yourself, watch the kids from a distance, a distance. see them <laughs> acting crazy and whatnot. And and smoke a cigar safely. I just light up the cigar anyway, and I figure if they want to complain, they can talk to the dog. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to tell this story. I've got a friend who uh, he's into heavy construction, and he has a Memorial Day bash at his house every year, and he kicks it off by doing a uh, outdoor fire pit. His fire pit is about eight feet in diameter, and he fills the thing up with just junk and other stuff like that. And in the morning of the picnic. He'll go out there and pour about five gallons of gasoline on Oh, boy. And then in the evening, when it's time to light this thing up, he stands back about 75 feet and fires <laughs> bottle rockets at it. And the thump that that, make, that thing goes when it catches on fire it will literally shake the house. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he, he throws his wife is actually Cajun, and she throws on a mad fish boil as well. So I think yeah, I saw that mushroom cloud light <laughs> yeah. last summer. Uh, from the corner but well, one year he, he actually uh missed the the fire pit and it went across the street he lives on this uh kind of dirt road it went across the street and he ran over there and in a he was wearing a pair of shorts and flip-flops and he was trying to stomp out the brush fire that started on the other side of the street and his wife got really kind of ticked off about him using the bottle rocket <laughs> <laughs> i don't know if he's been doing it after that but yeah it, it's still a fun time tom yeah. and jackie i'm talking about you no, it, definitely summertime, barbecuing, being outside, smoking cigars. You know, you got to treat cigars are different in the summer too. Yeah. You know, they're, they, they, they don't smoke the same, but that, you know, I believe personally, they probably smoke more like they're supposed to. If you look at the uh, environment where cigars came from and the, yeah. the temperatures there, you know, they're all come from tropical environments. So you can smoke cigars here in the summer just fine Yeah. and get really good smokes. Oh yeah. 
It's right, just, humidity's right up there. Mm -hmm. Humidity climbs, especially in Hampton Roads, uh, Virginia, where we're at. Uh, humidity definitely climbs. Gets downright sticky. Gets downright sticky in the dog days of summer, July and August. But it's just this nice time mm -hmm. of year where I'm no longer forced to sit in my shed in my backyard. Now I can sit on that back deck and enjoy the, a warm summer breeze or evening. You know, you can do a herf. You take your laptop out there, fire up a herf, and jump on with a honor and ass cigar club and yep. just hang out and have a great time mm -hmm. do you know about the honor and ass cigar club yet robin oh no i don't i think we got a new member potential right here yeah. probably okay so uh, honor and ash is a uh, uh me mike and our buddy bill started a cigar club yep. unlike any other and it's uh veterans law enforcement firefighter and first responder to give every all the guys like us that don't really fit into the rest of the world. Yeah. No, not the rest of the world wants to hear when we're having struggles and what, what our struggles are. They don't understand. A place to go, smoke cigars on a hearth, laugh, joke, hang out. And uh, kind of the cool thing is it's it's not our club. It's everybody's club. Everybody gets a vote. Everybody that comes in gets voted in. Um, and it's that way it's, it's actually a cigar club for the people, run by the people, so we can actually say it's we the people. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Yep, and I think it's a different than most of the cigar clubs out there. Even the larger ones are, you have one person or maybe a small group of people making decisions for the whole club. And I think that's why you get a lot of splits. Yep. You know, you get a lot of splits in some of those larger cigar clubs. I, I know uh, Hooligans, as an example, was a split from another large cigar club because they didn't like the way it was, uh, you know, being run. Right. So, you know, and good for them for starting it because Hooligans is a great cigar club. Yeah. You know, they do things their way and, you know, they have a, a very large following and, you know, they're multinational on multiple yeah. continents now. But uh, we'll get there. Yeah, I, I think we will, because, you know, we're doing it differently because it's by the people for the people yep. of the club. Every voice. Can Every be past heard. member gets a voice, yep. you know, and, you know, the, the rules are tough. The number one rules be respectful and don't be a dick. Yep. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's pretty simple, right? <laughs> Don't it's, be a dick. It's actually very similar to the uh, the brain trust. We only have one rule, and it is hug the ladies on the way out. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm I'm actually wearing the official brain trust shirt today. Um, nice. But we are very similar to that. It's it's a very I won't we'll call it a democratic organization. I but, thought that uh, was a bowling shirt. It is a bowling shirt. But it's, <laughs> it's a brain trust bowling shirt. Uh, it's actually a specific shirt in a specific color. Ah, and each chapter can pick their own color, but my the chapter for the one at my house is blue, um, royal blue. And uh, Jake is wearing the official uh, honor and ass shirt, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Come on, man. You got to love a bright pink Hawaiian shirt with stitch on it, man. If right. you don't like stitch, stitch is an embodiment of summer, man. Completely controlled chaos. And if you have any kids... All summer is is controlled chaos. And, and, and uh, Stitch and Lilo was in Hawaii, which is summer, summer all the time, all, yeah. all year long in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's talk about let's talk about that. So travel, uh, you know, you travel outside the country to some warmer regions. It's summer all year long. You can go to I don't know Jamaica in <clears throat> February or March, and it feels like summertime. You can sit outside and have a cigar. Yeah, it's great. Depending on where you go, they may even have really good cigars. Exactly. You know exactly right. You can make that your summer destination. So, like a lot of people go into to spring break. If you're heading to Florida, you're at the American cigar capital right now. You know, absolutely, absolutely. We were down there for spring break uh, last week, and let me tell you, man, it was great being in 80 degree weather uh, with a light breeze. And you know, compared to what when I left, we were 40s and 50s. Right. Yeah. 40s and 50s here where you had to, you know, put layers on to go outside and have a cigar. But Florida, nope, man. Shorts and a T-shirt sitting out by the pool having a cigar. It was great. Absolutely great. Yeah. And and uh, I don't know if I told you guys this. I, I think I told Ken this, Jake. But, you know, driving around, we, we spent one day in Miami. So we drove down to Miami. We had some other stuff to do down there from Orlando, which is a three-and-a-half-hour drive. Mm -hmm. Um but everything in Orlando is a three and a half hour drive. Whether you're going nine miles to the amusement park or whether you're going to Miami, it doesn't matter. Um, but drove by some 
monumental cigar places. Yeah. You know, in, in Miami, drove by Neptune Cigars. Yep. You know, uh, and uh, saw the Cigar Superstore, sat in a, a little Havana and had cigars and coffee out on a patio in the middle of a downtown street. Nice. Yeah. What a treat. Yeah. What a what a nice afternoon that was. Yeah, I think I think with you know when it comes to cigars in summer, it's it's a great time because you get to go outside, enjoy your cigars, do your barbecue, have that time, and and build those memories, yeah, and, ha- and have those experiences. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. So, what are some, what are your some of your favorite summertime memories with cigars? Anybody? <laughs> So there is a place that we go to uh, here in town. I got, if you guys are familiar with Games Farmers Market, but they've got some killer meat there. Yep. Um, we go over there and we buy like 10 pounds of pork, and we usually get a slab of bacon, non- uncut, just a slab of bacon, and we throw that on the cool side. I've got a big green egg on my back porch. It belongs to my buddy Chris. So we'll go out there and we'll fire that thing up and, and uh, – We'll throw some some ribs on there or something else like that, and we'll just sit there and we'll cook all day long. I kind of monitor the uh, the big green egg while it's cooking, enjoy a cigar and a beverage, and then uh, we go inside and we totally destroy some meat. Yeah, nice. <laughs> nice. I like I actually like just lounging in my pool with a cigar. Yeah, you know I, I don't recommend doing it with really high quality cigars because. <laughs> You know, they, they have a tendency of never getting finished with kids jumping and other stuff. But, you know, chilling that, in a pool with a cigar. That brings well. me to a, to another interesting point. Uh, when I was working at the cigar shop, I used to come, have people come into the cigar shop and say, hey, I'm looking for a cigar that I can have that I can have while I'm playing golf. Yeah. I'm like, okay, well, what level of cigar are you looking for? Are you looking for one to occupy your time while you're – going from hole to hole or are you looking for one that's going to make you completely tank the game while you're worried about smoking a really good cigar right golf's another you know it's another big cigar activity a lot of golfers smoke cigars on a golf course it's you're outdoors there are no restrictions inside uh you know like restaurants and stuff like that so it's another great activity to do while you're having a cigar Mm -hmm. or Another activity to do. Yeah, activity to do while you're having a cigar. Yeah. You're, mm-hmm. you're smoking a cigar and playing golf, not playing golf and having a cigar. Yeah, the cigar is first, guaranteed. Guaranteed. For me, it is anyway. I know some some people would be exactly the opposite, not for me. Well, see, if I go play golf, my only goal is to out, wander around out there because I don't bend well enough and turn well enough to actually hit a ball. So I just go out there to have the cigar and hang out with my buddies. Now, see, I used to be really, really good at golf, but that damn windmill got me every single time. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, it's like one of the, the few sports that you can play and smoke at the same time. If you try to smoke a cigar and play basketball, it completely changes the game. Yeah. You know? no. I bet you could smoke cigars and have midget wrestling, though. <laughs> Maybe we should I ask Bruce. He, yeah. might, he might have some insight into that. I think he's, a, he's yeah. one of the more famous midget wrestlers. But, yeah, I think you're right, Ken. It's one of the, the sports that you can do when, you know, you can enjoy a cigar and still enjoy the sport. Basketball, volleyball, even softball, you know, unless you're sitting in a dugout. But I think the other players might complain. Yeah. yeah. You can do stuff stuff like the uh, – the, the what's the new horseshoe game where you throw a beanbag? Cornhole? Cornhole. Yeah. Cornhole. You can smoke and play cornhole. I, 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 am very, I am very skilled at smoking cigars and playing cornhole. Mm-hmm. Oh, there you go. That's a good I skill. suck at cornhole. But I'm good at the smoking of the cigars. Yeah. Therefore, I'm very skilled. I'm really good at smoking yeah. cigars and doing anything. Yeah. Yeah, there, there yeah. you go. Absolutely. So we've got cutting grass. We've got barbecue and family activities, pool, golf, and sports. Uh, what about camping? Man, I, Camping and cigars. man. I'm sure they go hand in hand, but the chance of you getting me sleeping on the ground out there <laughs> is about uh, slim and none. Uh, it depends. Are you go glamping. Now, Glamp, oh, yeah, I, I'm prissy. I'll sleep in a nice bed in the woods. <laughs> the only way you're getting me sleeping in the woods without it, without glamping anymore is survival situations. Luckily, I got a little extra survive than the rest of you guys. <laughs> yeah. We might be heading into some survival situations pretty soon, given our, uh, you know, war climate and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's I, another podcast. I, I will say, you know, I don't recommend smoking cigars if you're hunting. 
Right. Yeah. That's probably not the best time to smoke a cigar. But when you get back to camp, you can. When you get back to camp, do it, but not while yeah. you're out there doing not it. Not while you're in a tree stand or a duck blind. No. Kind no. of giving yourself away, trying to blend in. I don't know. Duck blind might be all right. You're far enough away. Yeah, if you like hot boxing yourself. Yeah. <laughs> True. But now, if it were possible to smoke a cigar and ride a motorcycle at the same time, I'd be all over it. But unfortunately, uh, it would make for a really short. I mean, you could have <laughs> your, your 10 by 100. Would probably there you go. About a, about a 30 second smoke out on a motorcycle at 60. Yeah, probably. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen anybody smoking a cigar and riding a motorcycle at the same time. I actually yeah. have. I don't know how they do it. But I've seen people doing it. Yeah. Hey, more power to them. Yeah. yeah. You know, motorcycles at that time of year, too. You know, a lot of motorcycles coming out of their garage right now, getting tuned up and ready to go for the summer. And, you know, the motorcycle enthusiasts love this time of year, too. Yeah. Yeah. Just throw a few in your pocket. Wait till you get to the bar. Unless or you're Ken, they'll fall out right. and you run them with your mower. <laughs> <laughs> right. <clears throat> what about hiking in cigars? I'm not a hiker. I'm not a hiker. I wouldn't know. But I mean, theoretically, you can do it. I think I think you could do it. And see, mm-hmm. I grew up in in uh, Southern California with mountains all over the place, and I used to hike in the mountains. But out here, it's too flat. There's it, not really any good hiking places. You don't have to go that far to get to a good hike around here. You, you, I mean, we do have the mountains in Virginia. That's true. They're not On that the far away. Other side. What, of three the hours? State. Something like that. About three hours. I don't know though. Hey, I mean, Bright said, "There's three hours to smoke cigars, then you go hike. As long three as three hours to smoke cigars on the way home. <laughs> yeah, but as long as the hike isn't too challenging, I think yeah. you you'd be okay. If it were, you know, if you're gonna be in a workout level hike where you're sweating yeah. your balls off trying to get up the side of a mountain, you're probably not going to be enjoying a cigar while you're. Well, hiking. you know that is one of the biggest problems in the summer: enjoying a cigar outside. Swamp ass. Swamp yeah. ass. Yeah, that's that's for sure because you, you, all winter you're fighting just to in, enjoy it, just to get into an environment where you can enjoy a cigar. To be warm. Right. And then in the then summer. Then you, yeah, you're, you're, you're out there going, man, this is a great cigar, but. I wish it was winter. I wish it was cooler. <laughs> <laughs> I really think to smoke cigars and enjoy them outdoors, especially here in Virginia, I think spring and fall are the perfect times. Perfect. You know. Yeah. yeah. You can enjoy it outside. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. It's comfortable. You know, you're not out there sweating like you're a you know sinner in church. You know, and uh, yeah, the dog days of summer lend themselves to morning cigars outside yeah. and evening cigars yeah. outside. Yeah, yeah. evening yeah. cigars are the best. When it's 98 degrees and 100 percent humidity here in Virginia, one or two o'clock in the afternoon is not the best time mm. to have a cigar. You will be covered in sweat. Very quickly. Yeah. I smoke a lot less cigars, actually, in in the summer. Yeah. I don't mind throwing an extra coat on to go outside if it's cool out in the wintertime to smoke one, but, uh, you know, even turning a heater on. But, man, when it's 98 degrees outside, smoking a cigar just does not appeal have that same appeal. But it's a perfect time to find a nice air-conditioned cigar shop. And go hang out. And go hang out. There. That, that's what I was going to say next is my one of my favorite summertime activities on a hot day is to go to a nice, cool, air-conditioned cigar lounge. Yep. yep. And that is the reason I have a membership to one lounge. Yep. Is I can go hide there, get a good meal, take a friend or two with me. They got good beverages if they want them. Nice. Yep. Watch the professionals play golf. Watch the professionals <laughs> play golf on the TV. Yep. And laugh at them for dying of heat stroke. <laughs> <laughs> or laugh at them for really bad, you know, hitting the ball wrong. Even though yeah. I can't do any better, I'll still laugh at you. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Does the summer actually change what you smoke? Does it make it, 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 does it influence you to smoke something lighter or heavier or whatever? Sometimes, depending on the particular area where I am. Like if I'm sitting on my front porch, I'll usually smoke something a little bit medium bodied. If it's, if it's a warmer evening, if it's really hot still, I'll go for something a little bit lighter. But yeah, I do, I do, do definitely taper what I smoke with. Uh, yeah, with I'd that. agree with that. I don't think I do. No, no, no! I really don't think I do. Go for the firecrackers all the time. I, yeah, I just have my flavor profile that I really enjoy. It took me years to get comfortable with that and accept it, who I am and what I smoke, and I'll be damned if I'm changing it because it's hot or cold. <laughs> well, but I lean more towards the medium body cigars anyway, so yeah. I think that's probably why I don't have to, you know, 
Right. I'll, I'll, I'll switch a little bit, but right. not a ton, but it does. You know, I stay away from the stronger cigars when it's, if I'm going to sit outside when it's really hot. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You know. I mean, you might pair it with the, um, with the, like, say, the barbecue that you're, you've been um, slow cooking all day. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. 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 Have but, a lighter cigar if you're cooking chicken. and Maybe a little bit heavier cigar if you're doing ribs and red meat, steaks, that kind of things. Absolutely. Absolutely. What did we miss here, guys? Did we miss anything? We're missing comments from, from uh, our watchers. What are you guys doing in the summer with your cigars? What's your favorite to smoke in that particular situation? What's the good situations? What's the bad? Give us a comment on the bottom. We'll all discuss it. What we'll kind laugh of, at it. What kind of beverage do you enjoy with your cigars? That's always a good good one. Share, you know, what do you, uh, it says summertime, change your beverage. Are you drinking cooler drinks, mixed drinks, sodas, or are you still sticking with coffees and bourbons? Well, coffee is a year-round beverage. Coffee is a year-round beverage. That's that's a good good point. You know, but it, you know, if it's two o'clock in the afternoon and it's ninety degrees outside, are you gonna have a coffee? Are you gonna have a well, bourbon? Or are you gonna have a you know nice cold root beer? That's I'll, when you go to Starbucks and get yourself a nice lady drink and uh, have yeah. it have it along with. Now, your see, cigar. I was actually drinking coffee over ice years before Starbucks ever came out with that idea. You know, I'll, I'll go to the. Uh, my wife likes watching uh, NCIS. And one of the guys on there always has a cup of coffee. And they asked him, man, it's, you know, 90 degrees outside. How are you drinking coffee? He's like, well, if you drink warm coffee, it feels cooler outside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that, that was so, I don't know. I think coffee is a year-round beverage. Definitely. I disagree with that, but okay. Someone, yeah. I'm sure I'm sure lots of people subscribe to that idea. I don't know if that's a old wives' tale or if that's <laughs> facts. I don't know. I, I don't, don't either, know. but I, I, I died laughing when I, I heard it. Somebody no. watching this knows whether or not that's true or not. Let us know, guys. Is that true? Drinking warm coffee on a hot day uh, makes it feel cooler outside. Let us know. I've heard I've heard people say that. I there was a about a, when I was in high school, there was about a hundred year old substitute who had zero control over the class, and he lost. Uh, he, he lost all um, authority when he, he tried to tell that to a bunch of teenagers that you, you know, on a hot day, if you drink coffee, you'll get cooler. I've actually heard something along those lines. Basically what it is is your body likes to have everything at a certain temperature range. And if you have something hot, your body cools down in order to compensate for that. Or if you have something cold, it warms up to compensate for it. So I think I've, I've heard that there is some validity to that. It mm. makes sense. But not in practice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I'm willing to try it. <laughs> that, that, that's the bottom line. I have heard that ice cream sales on cold winter days is actually, it does go up. Hmm. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. but Man, okay, but ice cold, cream's good anytime. Yeah. It's yeah. True. I, like, I like ice cream in the summer. If it's cold and I have ice cream, my whole body turns into an ice cube. <laughs> I get cold. Ah. All right. So anyway, uh, like, comment, share this video, guys, if you liked it. Um, we definitely appreciate it. We want to hear your comments. We want to read your comments. We try to respond to as many as we can, even the bad ones. Um, and so if you enjoyed this, this content, please like, comment, and share. We hope you guys have a great week. We hope you have a great summer. And we hope you enjoy a lot of cigars outside in this beautiful weather. Until next week, guys, remember, be a man, smoke a cigar, carry a gun. Play a guitar. <laughs> nice and this thing keeps getting added to it <laughs> all right i love it good job <laughs>